Hello guys, that's your third video tutorial of the boat knee chapter. So see, 33 number question. Consider of the following the statement about probiotic. What is a probiotic? As well as that, when we are going to define about the probiotic, definitely I can say that living microorganism that to be healthy for host organism. Yes, that will be that will be called probiotic. So here, here, second option C. Uh, firstly, first option C. Probiotic food contains leaf bacteria, which are considered is beneficial to a human. Of course, so A is absolutely correct. Now, second C. Probiotic food helps in the maintaining gut flora which is gut flora which statement is going to have of the correct definitely both are is going to be up once again i repeat often this that probiotic are a living microorganism that to be healthy for host organism lactic acid bacteria as we know that bifidobacteria are a common time or common type of microbes used as probiotic Bacteria are the common type, as we know. See, once again, I repeat that bifidobacteria are the common type of the microbes used as a probiotic. Yes, certain yeast bacilli may also useful. So, probiotic are commonly consumed as a the part of the fermented food bed especially added active leave yes culture such as yogurt as dietary supplement so definitely there should be no doubt that C is going to be correct here 34 34 as we know that here also 34 both statement is going to be correct why because see sweet orange plant is propagated by a cutting by a grafting technique of course jasmine plant is propagated by yes layering technique so this is also correct so both are is going to the correct why it is show the both are as we know that uh, grafting grafting is the most common method of the vegetative propagation in this method the part of the two plants are joined in a such way that they grow as a one plants sweet orange plant is propagated by grafting technique where layering is another type of the vegetative propagation in this method root are artificially induced on the stem branches before they are detached from the plants for propagation just means plant of course so just mean the plant is propagated by these techniques <coughs> Now, 35 number C, in the making of saffron, yes, a spice, which one of the following is the part, yes, which one of the following the parts of the plant is used? Saffron, as we know, is going to be a stigma, yes, in the saffron, uh, for, uh, you know, for the production of saffron, a stigma part is going to be used. So here B will be correct. Why it is show because 35 as we know that saffron is a yes a spice obtained from the stigma of the flower of yes corcus corcus sativus yes lemmy yes linalus. Of course, once again this is the plant as we know that the stigma of the flower of Quarkers, Sativus, Linalus. This is the plant's name. From that, it's obtained. So here, which one will be? Here, yeah, that will be D correct. Now, further question C. Due to their extensive rice cultivation, some reason may be contributing to a global warming. To what the possible reason is? that is yeah i mean the reason is this active due table 
means C first, the anaerobic condition associated with the rice cultivation cows is the emission of the methane. So, as we know that, of course, this is absolutely correct because anaerobic condition, as we know, that associated with the rice cultivation, that is leading to the emission of the methane, of course. And when the nitrogen, there's the fertilizer are used, the nitrous oxide is emitted from the is cultivated soil. So both are is going to here. We will choose 36 is equal to C. For the explanation, as we know that why it is shows because as we know that methane and nitrous oxide are the two types of the greenhouses gases. Yes, which is emitted from the rice field. As we know, in rice field, yes, flooding at the field cut off the oxygen supply from atmosphere resulting anaerobic conditions which emit the methane and nitrogen yes nitrogen fertilizer which is generally used in the rice field for high production emit nitrous oxide by the reaction with atmospheric of the oxygen so here c will be correct 37 c given the below the name of for energy crops which are is the which one of them can be cultivated for ethanol production so one of the measure that is a b of course massive is utilized for the ethanol production so uh, see not only uh, i mean messy but most prominent uh, prominent you know that's uh, uh, i'm the, uh, in this of course in which which one is going to be a use so of course here is a messy only one but for example of course ethanol production in india from the magic sugar can stark of course and corn grain it is messy is easily available and the magic is not the costly for product as to economy concern that's why we prefer to use for the production of ethanol so of course messy 38 number question now see Thirty-eight number questions. As we know that when we talking about the bitar kanika, there is no doubt that bitar kanika or a, yes, bita of course, I mean bitar kanika, yes, Orisha is a protected area for the salt croco, of course, for salt water crocodile, where the breeding is main purpose of that yes protected area. Andaman Nicobar also of course but Bitar Kanika here is the option given so of course we will choose here Bitar Kanika for a salt water crocodile so there should be no doubt that one is going to be absolutely correct of course now now see second that is a desert national park yes great Indian bastard the Rajasthan when we talking of course in the Rajasthan of course well known for desert national park in the Rajasthan for what well known of course great Indian bastard so two is absolutely also correct now 3c yes Arabi Kullam yes Arabi Kullam Kerala that is well known for yes Hulak Gibbon no that is in correction my dear so we will be here 38 is going to be correct Further, once again, I repeat of that, you know, Arabic Hulam National Park, yes, was established to protect the Nilgiri Tahir, of course, wild goat. What is the Nilgiri Tahir? That is a wild goat species. So, once again, I repeat, Bitar Kanika Orisa, yes, is a protected area for saltwater crocodile, where breeding is a main purpose for that, of course, the pro for that. Uh, protected area of course and the great Indian bustard is the product in the desert area of the Rajasthan and Arabic Kulam National Park is established to protect the Nilgiri Thai that is also called Wild God. Show B. Now 39 number C. Some species of the plants are insectivorous. Why it is show? Why insectivorous? As we know that 39, when we talking about the insectivorous, why it's called? Because insectivorous, the plants, the prey, insect, because most of the insectivorous, the plants grow in those area where 
there is deficit of the nitrogen in the nutrient so that in that condition you know they catch insect to the fulfill is its need of the nutrient yeah it's required to fulfill of course in that condition of course uh, i mean for fulfillment of the nutrient is for fulfillment of the nutrient they catch the insect that's why it call insectivorous in plants show of course 39 is going to be a uh, which one yes c option b is going to be absolutely because they are yes adapted to the crow in the nitrogen deficient soil absolutely this depend on the insect for sufficient is nitrogenous nutrition so of course so b will be a uh, 39 40 c the moon 8 and 8 63 is the variety of the yes mon 8 and 8 63 is variety of the mezzi it was in the news for the following reason for what reason as we know that 40 c moon 863 is generally modified the variety of the mezzi remind your that which is highly resistant of corn root worm so which money is going to be it's generally modified the variety which is pasture resistant so b will be here correct for the now 41s yeah talk the coffee and tea both are cultivated on a hill slopes of course there is some difference between them regarding their cultivation in this the context of the consider of the following the statement as coffee plants require the hot and yes hot and humid the climate of the tropical areas where as a tea can be cultivated in the both tropical and subtropical 41 so of course a is absolutely correct because as we know that coffee plants require a hot and humid because for example let you inform just like uh, west bengal in a darjeeling area of course that is a hot and humid climate tropical area so where the tea can be cultivated in a both tropical and subtropical areas of course but coffee coffee plants Yes, require a hot and humid the climate of a tropical area where tea can be in a both whatever that is a tropical and subtropical. So A is absolutely correct here. Yeah. So second, the coffee is propagated by seeds, but tea is propagated by a steam cutting only. No, that is absolutely wrong as we know that. So A will be correct. Why two is going to be a uh, wrong? because of as we know that both coffee and tea is propagated by seeds and steam cutting so of course two is going to be around because here is a given one lane now 42 <coughs> consider of the following statement that biodiversity hot spots are located only in the tropical region yes biodiversity hot spot are located only in the tropical regions as we know this is absolutely wrong because here north is the only located in the tropical regions subtropical also so only you know most probably where there is going to given in a statement to the only word most probably 85 percent is going to be of course and the chances that is going to be wrong so here this will be wrong a b elemented of the one this one gone this one now that we have to one uh, sorry two and b and a now say india has a four biodiversity hot spot eastern himalaya yes uh, as we know the western himalaya western Ghat, and andaman nicobar island do you think that's only we have the four biodiversity hot spot no so definitely here yeah, will be be correct why it is so for further explanation let you tell the my viewers that biodiversity hot spot are located in temperate temperate of course biodiversity hot spot are 
located in temperate region and hot spot are present in the eastern himalaya western himalaya and andaman nicobar of course but not in a western ghat reminder sorry i mean eastern himalaya western ghat and andaman nicobar of course but here uh eastern himalaya there is no located so this will be here it is going to be wrong here my dear so d will be here remind you that yes india has a three biodiversity hot uh, spot where western himalaya western ghat and yes andaman nicobar and where it found they remind you that yes it found in temperate region and hot spot are the present in yes western ghat andaman nicobar and yes western himalaya now 43 consider the following that the boundary of the national park are defined by legislations 43 as we know that it is absolutely correct that legislation is going to of course recognize or define the boundary of the national park absolutely b now c on the biosphere the reserve is declared to the conserve of the few specific species of fauna and flora that is absolutely wrong should be eliminate of the two this one and this one and as we know that in the will like the so limited by the interference is permitted so three is absolutely so c will be here correct of course 43 is going to be c Once again, for further explanation, let me inform you, my dear, that the 43, the fixed boundary of the national park, is described in the Wildlife Protection Act, 1972, and the actual area of the national park is notified by the state government. Remind you that we are the biosphere, yes, biosphere reserve, the conserve and ecosystem, not just few specific, yes, yeah, uh, few specific. the plants and the animals yes it conserve whole ecosystem so definitely here both are going to be a uh, i am the one and three is going to be correct now for four and the pesticide which is yes chlorinate hydro the carbon is spread on the food of the crops and the food the chain is food crop the rate is snack one Yes, in this the food chains and the highest the concentration of the pesticide, yes, would accumulate in the which one of the following is going to be? A, so forty-four. Yeah. See here, which one is going to be? A, that's going to be how it is. Because you know that uh, suppose food crops red red to a snack of course uh, a snack to how it is. So high concentration will be here of course in a day. It's easy, but once again let me inform you my dear that. as we know 44 for further biomagnification is the phenomenon of the increasing concentration of the compound in be the tissue of the organism as yes the compound passes up the food chain and usually as the result of the food intake in this case the highest concentration of the compound will increase with increasing yes the tropical levels by magnifying the pollutant which increase in the concentration from producer so one thing the primary consumer to the secondary secondary to tertiary tertiary to a top consumer where what is the top consumer so where will be pesticide highest of course in the world now last question of this video tutorial of course so with reference to the soil conservation concern of course the consider the following factors Yes, crop rotation, sand fences, terracing, and wind breaks, which are is going to be the conserve. Yes, which are the material utilized for the soil conservation in the India? Of course, the forty-five. The we can say that soil conservation is tip are crops rotation and terracing and the wind break. So which one cannot be? Of course, sand fences. That's going to be a big limit of the two. Then definitely. This one, this one, this one. So C will be the correct answer. 
for 5 is going to be of course the matter one things crops rotation second wind break of course wind breaks and perishing is all the matter is utilized to the conserve of course in the soil conservation show thank you thank you very much of course if anyways now that my video is going to the benefit to you of course yeah if the, my video is the benefit to you then anyway then please subscribe and the like and also give the comment also in a comment box of my videos thank you very much have great times thank you thank you thank you